your actions inspire others to dream more, learn more, do more and become more, then you are on the path to becoming a great leader. In this generation where technology has become so advanced that it is available to everyone, the only competitive edge a company can get is by improving its leadership. How important a good leader is can be explained using the examples of many companies that rose to skyrocketing heights because they had great leaders. According to Forbes, companies like General Electric, Procter & Gamble, Intel, Siemens, Coca-Cola, McDonald's, ABB, Microsoft, Walmart, etc. are good examples of companies for great leadership. Now the question arises, how does leadership influence organizational culture? I'm sure all of you have asked this question to yourself at least once. Just how a parent shapes the characteristics of a child or just how a teacher builds the foundation for her students, a good leader sets the benchmark for the company and its people. With good leadership, a company can grow and achieve its goals at the same time create a healthy environment for its employees, thereby improving employee efficiency. A team can grow only up to the level of its leader. It cannot go beyond it. So the level of the leader decides the performance of the team. We now know that leadership is important. So how do we inculcate good leadership practices? Let me tell you about John Maxwell's five levels of leadership. The first level is position. This is the lowest level of leadership. As one can say, it's the entry level of the leadership. The position is the only level that requires no effort to achieve. One can simply be appointed at a leadership position. Now there is nothing wrong with having the leadership position. However, relying only on this position to get people to follow you will not take you far. Position does not directly result in influence. You should use this level as a place to invest in your growth as a leader. This time can be used to learn to lead yourself through priorities and self-discipline. Level 2 is permission, which is based on relationships. Here the people choose to follow you because they want to and not simply because they have to. In simple terms, at this level, people give you the permission to lead them. If you want to grow at this level, you will need to learn to know the people you are leading and connect with them. If you treat your people as individuals who have their own values and beliefs, you begin to develop a positive relationship with them. Trust grows, mutual respect increases and the work environment becomes positive and happy to work in. This is the level where solid, lasting relationships are built that create the foundation for the next level. Level 3 is production. In life, there will be times when people hit rock bottom and they feel there is no way out. This is when true leadership comes to rescue. Great leaders know how to motivate people. Getting things done is what level 3 is all about. To build influence and credibility, results must be visible. If you want people to follow you, not only because of your relationship with them, but also because of your credibility, then you must give them something to prove your worth. This is the level where leaders can become change agents. The more output you give, the more you will be able to tackle tough problems. Work becomes fun as everyone is moving together and the team rises to another level of effectiveness. Level 4 is people development. To sum up level 4 in one word, it can be called the reproduction level. A great leader is not someone who rises on the top alone. A great leader is someone who produces more great leaders. Your goal at this level is to identify and develop as many leaders as you can by investing time and effort and helping them grow. When there are more great leaders, the organization will accomplish more. By doing this, you are giving your people another reason to follow you. When they see what you have done for your team members personally, respect, trust and admiration increases. And level 5 is Pinnacle. This is the highest level of leadership which also makes it most difficult to attain. You simply cannot reach level 5 unless you are willing to invest your life into the lives of others. But if you stick with it, you may find yourself at the pinnacle. Level 5 leaders develop level 5 organizations. They aim to create opportunities that other leaders 
don't. They create a legacy in what they do. People follow them because of who they are and what they represent. As a result, level 5 leaders often transcend their position and even their organization. One thing you must note here is the goal of John Maxwell's five levels of leadership is not to advance from one level to another, but it is to build upon each level. I would like to end with a very famous quote by John Maxwell. Leaders become great not because of their power, but because of their ability to empower others. Stay happy and keep learning. Happy learning. Thanks for taking out time to watch this video. To learn more check out our other videos. Link is given in the description below. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and have a great day. For more information you can write to us on inquiry at anexis.net.